What's going on everyone? This is Slackerman with another Acid Rain 118 figure review. Today we're looking at the brand new Acid Rain Bucks team. This is Steel, the Unstoppable Bomber. I am missing uh, one more, which is on the way, uh, of the figures to complete the new uh, 2022 20, or 23 um, Bucks team figure line. So I've had Bob and Jack for a while now. I just didn't want to review these guys until I had the entire set. But um, again, only missing one more guy, so I figured I would start reviewing these. Um, I have to say that Steel here is one of my favorite uh, Acid Rain figures to date. Just the accessories that he comes with, the look, the uh, robot arm backpack, it's one of uh, my favorite Acid Rain figures. And that's saying a lot because there's a lot of really good Acid Rain figures. I have not opened the Sniper guy yet. I'm sure that one is uh, really good or close to him. So when I open him and kind of mess around with him, maybe that one will be my favorite. But for now, uh, Steel is my favorite Acid Rain figure. I have opened Jack and Bob, just haven't reviewed them. Both of these are great figures as well, especially Jack with all of the weapons. Uh, but again, I like this one a lot more. So let's take a look. Um, the new Bucks team packaging has similar uh, artwork or backgrounds. So we have Steel, Unstoppable Bomber. You have the Bucks team kind of logo, a picture of the figure on the back. Here's all the accessories it comes with. The robot backpack, a really cool heavy machine gun, a uh, missile launcher, a rocket launcher, two pistols, some grenades. I don't know what those little things are. They might be spare magazines. I put them on his... Uh, plate carrier that he comes with, a mine, uh, some sort of handle, and I don't know what that other thing is. As far as the figure itself, I think what Acid Rain does the best is the articulation, um, the sculpt, the paintwork, pretty much everything you want to figure. Um, Acid Rain has always been my favorite from 118. I prefer Acid Rain over Joy Toy. A lot of people complain that it's getting more expensive, so I do agree that, you know, paying more sucks but i just think that compared to joy toy uh, acid rain's articulation is better the sculpt is sharper the paint is always better than joy toy joy toy feels uh not all the releases but most of the releases just feels cheap to me with the paint uh the level of detail i've always had joy toy uh, issues as far as breaking or paint scuffing so far, I've never had an issue with an Acid Rain figure. Now, I've heard the opposite. I've heard people complain that their Acid Rain figures they've had tons of issues with, and Joy Toy is awesome. But for me, um, I've had just always issues with Joy Toy. Uh, the paint's never that great, and every Acid Rain figure I get, I love. And so, just running through this figure, you do get a uh, face piece. All these figures come with a helmet, and then you have to plug in the uh, face plate to give them their helmeted look. His goggles do go down. You get the really cool uh, heavy machine gun. It does come with a bipod, but I don't have that attached. I really love the uh, robot arm backpack. We've kind of seen variants of this before, but I have one arm kind of holding the rifle for him, and then the other arm with the uh, rocket launcher there. That uh, warhead does detach. It's not in there too good. It's kind of a loose fit, so. That kind of sucks, but other than that, I like the look of it. It's just a plain gray uh, paint, but the sculpt is really sharp on this figure. Taking a look at the uh, the figure, the suit, all of the paintwork, the uh, scuffing, all the dirt, really looks good. There's those kind of accessories, those uh, plates that I put in his backpack there. Um, the body armor, everything just has really good uh, detail and weathering. I really like kind of that mud, uh, dirt, and grime splattered all over the figure. Again, these arms uh, articulate up and down, left and right. You can rotate uh, the arm 360 degrees to kind of get it to hold different things. You do get spare uh, warheads for the rocket launcher that plugs into the bath pack as well. So again, as far as articulation, Pretty much any pose you want to do, you can get them in. My favorite thing about uh, Acid Rain is all the figures are highly articulated. And again, in my opinion, better than Joy Toy. So, I know there's a lot of Joy Toy fans lately with the Warhammer line. 
uh, I guess one negative or knock about Acid Rain is it's just the Acid Rain uh, storyline. This kind of, uh, you know, futuristic uh, war setting. They don't really branch into anything else. But um, in my humble uh, nerd opinion, I think that Acid Rain is the best for 118. And again, this is probably uh, my favorite Acid Rain figure. We'll see when I open up Sniper Guy. Maybe he's better. But for now, this takes uh, the top spot for the best 118 figure, or my at least my favorite 118 figure for now. So, hope you've liked the video. I will be uh, reviewing these other figures whenever I can. Probably do the Sniper Guy next. Um, I also have some uh, Joy Toy stuff on pre-order. Mainly, they're uh, kind of uh, big space suit or miniature uh, mech line I forget the actual name of it but when that gets released i will be reviewing that also have some more die cast hobby master jets to review so hope everyone liked the video thanks a lot for watching bye